Hello world, I'm your host Bunny, and I'm here to welcome you to 15 Minutes Of, the first look series where we give new games 15 minutes to impress us before we harshly judge it based on no other information than the first 15 minutes of gameplay. Today we're looking at Confrontation, a tactical role-playing game from Cyanide. Cyanide made a debacle back in the day when they created a game called Chaos League, which pretty much was a direct rip-off of Blood Bowl after a lawsuit with Games Workshop involved, they were forced to create Blood Bowl instead. And it wasn't a hit, I'll put it like that. Marketing was crap and it didn't help that they have... The online capabilities of that game was terrible. Now, Confrontation isn't a Games Workshop game, which is why this thing, the Army Painter, is worrying me. It should be said that this game is based on miniatures from... Uh, company called Rackham, which is a French company, incidentally, as Cyanide is also French. And just look at that. What good could come from this? Seriously. We have... What? Well, I guess these are a little better. And there are the orcs. Yeah, this could not at all be a rather cheap version of Warhammer, could it? What the hell? And these guys. Oh, that's... Why not? Let's get out of here. I should point out that I knew about Confrontation already before and... I don't know why I'm doing this. Seriously. Cyanide has never managed to make a good game of high quality. It's always... It always has that feeling of being nearly another game, but not quite and just a little worse. Anyways, let's see what the intro has for us. War rages everywhere across our clash. And yes, this frame dropping is in an intro movie. It's there regardless of what settings I put it to. And I can't do anything about it. Well done, Cyanide. Well done. Well, the intro might be good. I just can't see much of it. Well, that's a terrible voice actor. He has a voice for it, but the stuttering when he talks, I don't know. This feels very much, this looks very much like something from like Dawn of War. So that was horrible. I don't know what to say. And here's even more. So we have the Griffin Templars apparently, and they're being attacked by the mutant clone whatsoever's. Um, At the head of a hand squad, Darius and I, I don't know what to say, this just feels like a cheap version of Warhammer, to be honest. But let's, let's just skip ahead. And this guy just won't shut up, apparently. Um, this looks like Dawn of War for some reason again, I don't know. Really? I should point out that this was the highest settings I could get to, and my computer isn't that bad, to be honest. But this is what I have to deal with. Blah de blah. Move. Sure. Click. Forward. Good. Now let's explore the zone. You can rotate camera, blah de blah de blah. There's a lot of text. 
to tell me just to rotate camera. See, I rotated the camera. There's a scorpion enemy in the vicinity. You're in blah de blah de blah de blah. Select Darius, then right click. Blah de blah de blah. His first skill slowly generates. Blah de blah de blah. His second skill on increase. Blah. That's a. Lo Why would they put. I don't know what to say. Why would they put the tooltip about the skills in the same window as how to attack? Okay, this is. Look at that tooltip. It's section in three with a shortcut at the bottom. Who who thought of this? Really? Look at that. Oh. Now combat is done. Seriously. That took forever. When you're not engaged combat, regen health. Good. So I regen health at least. And this is something from the Imperial Guard. One of your men, blah de blah. You're not gonna say hi or anything to him. And I can select them. That's a lot of text. I'm not gonna read through all this. You just get a short information bit on something that is obvious. Well, I guess it's not obvious to everyone, but still, I'm not gonna. There's too much stuff. From this position, give us a service zone. Must go cross border, reach a blah de blah. Use quick save. Okay, let's quick save then. And how am I supposed to survey this zone when there's fog of war there? Look at this, I can't survey anything from here. Uh, oh, and look at those amazing animations. Never mind animations, apparently we're pausing the game. And being told that we can pause the game. Thanks, thanks, really. Thank you so much, so much. Side tactics, set a combination of actions, holding a shift key, blah. Fine, let's pause this. Nice little border there so we can see. And look at that. Who the hell runs like that? I'd skip like that, but I wouldn't run like that. So let's him attack there. Let's use a skill, this one, and attack there. No, wait. Heal. No, not move. Heal. And there we go. We had to hold shift to queue them up, of course. And this, and this does damage. Sure, let's use that. No, not weapon damage. I. Okay, I put it on him and attack. There we go. Dear lord, combat takes forever. Ah, this is so slow. And this is just the beginning. The fight should be taking longer later on as well, and I can't imagine how, how long it will take by then. Anyways, let's keep moving and s maybe it gets better. It could. Let's skip into whatever. Uh, there's a Dasyadis clone. It's a powerful opponent, but he's isolated and different complete blah blah. Colors, which category? Red, green, yellow, magneta, and magenta. I can spell, I can talk. And black. Let's see, click him and select him blah. Yes. There we go. It would be nice if you attacked as well. Let's use this. There we go. Provocation. That's red, so that's damage, isn't it? But I'm not taking damage. Some heals? Oh, yeah, sure. And this is hit chance. Okay. So let's see here. That took for that took forever that fight, and that was what the 
fourth one we met and it takes this long. Anyways, where are we going? I'm at least regenerating health, so let's wait for him to do that. And... And we're skipping out in the desert. Just for another pause in the game. The pacing in this game is crap. I'll just say that outright. Prune, come eight, blah. Time ca carry. When health bar's empty, we'll fall to the ground. Agony bar appears in awesome touch. And gain less XP. Okay. So right click on them. And they'll go heal. I can do that. Okay. Right click on them. So they heal. Why do I have to tell these men twice? There we go, you get up, you get up, and another tool tip, cast spells, and that one cast spells, so they both cast spells. Forward. Yes, yes, let's go forward. Understood. Oh, and they get stuck, let's try again. Right into another cutscene. What's this? This magic portal of sorts. Sanctuary zone. They're not in the side from her. Recover injuries. And another cutscene. This time it's a chest. And another tooltip saying right click, you usually blah de blah, open. Find bandages, the efficiency of treatment, blah. Why would they put the tooltip for how to open a chest in the same tooltip as how you use the bandages. And then just highlight how to open the chest. I don't know, but there are my bandages at least. But and another tooltip? God damn it! So let's change weapon on Lawness. Lawnwis. Let's do pistols. There we have pistols, and those we attack. Because there's so little room in here. Let's see if you can set some things up. You cast that and then you attack. You cast that on him and then attack him so you can tank. Then you, well, I don't know. What does this do? No. Let's just use it. See what happens. And then that one as well. And you cast this on him. There we go. I'm glad we gave this that guy pistols, because he's clearly using them. He's now switched to swords by himself. Lord. And... Oh, of course he could heal himself. So it takes even longer for four of us to kill one guy. Let's go back and heal up. There's not much to heal, but I can't be bothered. Then back we go again. So, currently the kind of verdict-esque is, this feels a lot like Dawn of War, very little like Baldur's Gate, and... Oh, hello. Right, let's see how quick we can kill this one. Hit. And then a heal, just tank. We cast this. On him. You attack there. You cast that on him, and attack, and you cast that. So we burn all our cooldowns on this guy. And bang! We took, we took one fourth of his health with all our cooldowns. This is gonna take forever. He's dead. Now next one. And honestly, this combat is kind of boring after having seen Dawn of War 2's combat where they jump up on each other and smash faces and whatnot. These are just swinging back and forth. Understood. And they're also getting stuck on things. And this is... 
Uh, time to just elements enhance weapons armor, right click recover, like everything else then. More text, improve armor trees, equipment tree, five levels, branch, one equal. Okay, let's pick it up and find the, whatchamacallit? The character menu, character sheet, hello? Clear actions, attack, stop, heal, swap, move, pause, no. That's nothing, that's a weapon. That's nothing either, that's my armor, there's, is this it? No, this is not it. And no, there it is, the last one of course. And uh, armor, and we have these two. Um, physical. Plus three. Look at a tooltip. Cooldown, casting time, range, use. Zero, non, non, passive. Why? Anyways, let's take this one. Click OK. Let's take a weapon one since we had one. Five damage plus or two damage plus adds physical damage to the weapons of the units and allies around it. So five for myself or two for everyone. Two for everyone, clearly. We're four of us. That's eight. And this one, can I... Constitution or physical damage again? Constitution, of course. No, wait. No, I'm not allowed to put one more out. Okay, and skills. I have no idea what these bubbles are, but there they are. Let's get to the next one. Armor. No. Okay, I'm not allowed to put any more out. Fine, let's keep moving. So, after these 15 minutes, it's time for a verdict for this game, and as we skip into the desert and see another tooltip, I don't know what to say. This this has been painful, and I have nothing nice to say about this game. If you're a Rackham fan for some reason, I'm sure you can get some lore out of this and all that, but if you're not a total... Rackham buff, I would suggest that if this is the kind of game you're looking for, either get Dawn of War 2, which is pretty much the same game, but bigger and meatier, or get the original Baldur's Gate, which they tried to be, which is actually a good game, I'm told. Anyways, I have been, or well, I haven't been, I am still your host, Bunny. This has been Confrontation. It is currently out now for 40 bucks on Steam. Good luck on selling that one. This game has clearly gotten my 15 minutes of shame, and there's your verdict for the day. Now, uh, good night, I suppose, as we fall asleep watching them swing.
the temple. Yes. Good. Temple! 